had so much fun with this logo. If you join my membership, I'll do more of these that you request. Someone requested this from Instagram to say that we create a logo like this. This is my version and interpretation of the inspiration that they sent me. It looks like this on 2D and this is our 3D. It is done on PhotoP. Let's jump in and create this logo together. Actually, you're going to access PhotoP.com and you're going to open a new project. With your new project, you could give it a name and you are going to pick any canvas you want. Just pick a transparent if you wanna go convert it to 3D at a later stage. You're then gonna select create. The next thing that you're going to do is to start creating your circle. We're gonna do this by moving to the shapes tools and picking ellipse tool if you hold the shift key or the arrow that's pointing up on a Mac while you're creating a round arrow it creates a perfect circle for you so create a 500 px circle and make the fill white you've created your first circle next you're going to go back to ellipses or shapes and pick ellipse and then create the second round shape make this one 400 next you're going to click on your move arrow and then move the first circle align it so that it is on a perfect center when you see those red lines and then grab your second shape place it on top of the second shape align it as well like that so what you want to do now is to subtract this shape from the other shape so that you get that nice round circle then you're going to go to your layers and you're going to go to combine shapes and you're going to select subtract and then you have that nice gap of a circle that you've created Okay, so next we're going to select a rectangle shape because we want to create the gap. So I'm going to create the rectangle like that. And it's sitting on subtract, so therefore it has subtracted the gap over there. I just want to have a little bit of leeway when it gets to this point. So I'm going to create another little shape over there. And I'm going to move to my tools and find my transform control and then rotate that. And I'm happy with that. And I will grab my move to move that over there and then go back to my layers and go to the combined shapes and then subtract that. And that's how you create gaps in your shapes when you're designing on Photo P. And I'm gonna do exactly the same for the other side of my letter. So I'm gonna go back to my shapes. And I'm quite happy with my design. Next step is to design our shape and convert it to a 3D effect. Therefore, in order for me to change this, I'm going to right click on my shape and I'm going to rasterize it. After I've rasterized it, I then go to filter and I select 3D and I select normal matte. And then it converts it to that nice glowy kind of a purple uh, 3D design. You could scale it if you want, but I'm just going to change the color because I don't like this color. I want my own color. I'm going to go back to the shape itself, right click on there and then select blending options. On my blending options, I'm going to click on color overlay so that it gives me that nice dark black that I want. And then I'm going to click on the 3D so that I get that nice 3D look of the red and the black that I want. If you're going to ask me how to change these colors, put it in the comments below that I'll go uh, investigate and make sure that we have different colors because I know on Photo P when you want to change colors, you use the overlay. So go play around with it and let me know. Anyway, let's continue. You're going to click OK and you're good to go with your round shape on your Photo P design. What I want to do now is I'm going to lock this layer. I've selected the layer. I'm going to click on the key and then I've locked the layer. Ready for the next step of our design? We are going to be adding text on our logo. We will choose the text tool and we click on the type tool. The font that we're using is Norrister. The nice thing about Photo P that I truly appreciate 
you could pick and choose a font by scrolling through and having a look at how the preview of the font looks like before you pick a font so i spend a lot of time finding this particular font for this logo and nowhere star is the best one the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to type your u and you're going to click your move to and bring your u down to your design area and then you're going to again go back to the type tool and type the d letter and click ok and then uh, choose the move tool and move your d along to your design area your next step is to change your text to shapes in order for you to manipulate them and to make them fit in whichever area and pull them whichever way that you want in order for you to do that you would select the layer whether it's a U or a D you right click on the layer and then you convert it to shape I'm gonna switch off the controls the transform controls and you could see slightly the blue lines it shows you that the, the letter has been converted to a shape you can then choose to use your pen tools when you click on the pen tools you're going to pick the curvature pen the third one and then you could start clicking on a point and manipulating your letter to fit in whichever area that you want. So this would be a designer choice of how you would want your D to fit in there. I'm gonna do my little design over there and drag it this way. So it depends on how you want your design to look like. And then you do exactly the same with your U. I'm standing in the red inside of I'm happy with the design. It is very basic, it's a start. It's teaching you how to maneuver with Photopea and manipulate Photopea to beautiful logo design. We're going to download this and convert it to 3D. So we're going to go file and we're going to export it as a PNG. It's already transparent. And then I'm going to duplicate Photopea the tab. And then I'm going to go to my templates and convert my design to 3D. And there's your 3D logo looking stunning and beautiful. Let me know if you want more of these videos. I actually like this liquid design. If you want to be a member of my design team on YouTube, and that means if you send a request for me to create a video and go upload a video on your behalf, you're going to be prioritized if you are a member of our design team on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait for you to be part of the membership on Learn With Za on YouTube. I will see you on the next video.